Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Soundhead Entertainment. As always, I am Ed Soundhead, and we are here at the last great Coliseum in Wreckfest once again for something spectacular. We've got a brand new mod to play around with. The 410 Sprint Cars have arrived. We've got an all new model to play around with. And the same batch of nut job drivers that we know and love. Let's check it out. Obviously, turn one is usually where our dreams become nightmares. We'll try to minimize that. Turn them into memes. We're getting memed on a little bit, but we're alive. Somehow, some way, we drive out of that. They're just going to save the wreck for down here in turn three. I guess that works. Two gentlemen, and it's a huge one. Dave Marcus back up the track. We barely even got going, boys. My God. Oh! Woohoo! Damn, just as I was looking away, Jerry got smoked. Matt. Kansas, where are you gonna go? Oh, there's a pile up. There's nowhere to go. We're all going in the pile. Face first in a Ty Gibbs, and it's getting even worse. And we've been ass packed to death. Look at my wheel. That was illegal in like 28 states. Well, we grabbed the VHS tape and ran up to the tower so we could watch this one again as the big one unfolds at Bristol. Look at the grandness of this one. We gotta look at that again, even. And we'll get a better idea as it comes into frame here. And look at the wild one. Man, I know racing these cars on this pavement isn't exactly how you do it, but look at the results. Look at poor Jerry Nadu getting tossed through the air. He doesn't deserve this. Just, it really is a shame we are starting on the outside because it just seems destined for doom. And Brad's trying to get himself turned up here. Oh, and he put himself in the wall. We're into him. Nowhere to go. Into the wall ourselves. That's a great start. Oh, I'm not the only one having trouble here. All right, we'll get some spots back. Oh, we're not. Oh, Mac heads is laying in the middle of the road. Nowhere to go, but into him. Sorry about that, Matt. Oh my God, who is that up there just flipping their wiener off? Oh, it's Dale Jr. No, Mal, oh, nowhere to go. Right through the middle of a bunch of them. Just pounded our way through. We got Rusty here. He's gonna knock him out of the way. Well, that was a bit closer. That pile is forming up on the front. We're waiting. We, we're in second. Oh, we're in the lead. What the hell? I think I know how we got the lead. <laughs> Look at the carnage down here. Dale Jr. limping around. Looks like a war zone back there. And up here as well. We gotta get past it. Oh, we didn't get past it. No, no, no. Oh, no. Well, that's certainly not the first time I've come up a few inches short, but let's see how we got there first. We got taken out. Should have known it was gonna be bad news when that was Brad there. Kind of caused that too. Then we laid it into Matt Kenseth and that kind of started the pile up over there. Then we just slammed through these poor guys. And then we finish it off by barely clipping somebody's front wing that was hooking out a little bit there. And that somehow rips the wheel off and is our day. Wide. That's no, oh, I'm getting turned from Stuart Friesen, I think. I don't even know who that was, but that was dirty. And this is dirty too. This is a dirty front stretch. That's Jerry Nadu once again getting pummeled here in our adventure today. What the hell? So we gotta take it easy on that guy, not double him up for Christ's sake. And Matt's gonna line one up on Rusty there. Oh, I could see that coming from a mile away. We pack Matt back. We have to dodge Trevor Bain. And Dave Mark is gonna be hanging out in the middle of the road, flipping down the racetrack. So we'll collect him too. Why not? The more the merrier. Oh, what a sly job from the man himself, Dale Jr. That did not go to plan. And Matt kids, I'm getting mugged by the 2000 rookie class, and I'm about to get really, oh, just pack a loon. I don't even know what that means when it sounds good. And I, this isn't good at all. I'm stuck. Gonna have to put it in reverse gear. That's always a good sign. Oh, no. You love laying one in on a car that's already out of the race. Nice job, Johnny. Do my eyeballs deceive me? Is my lord and savior, Brad Keselowski, leading this event? Dead. Terminated. No warning, no nothing, just dead. So you, I'd really like to hunt down whoever that was and go attempt to fight them with my helmet still on and refuse to take it off and then call them a whiny bitch when I'm the biggest bitch. And then I'm gonna call that Harvey King 2.0. And then I'm gonna watch some more replays of me getting destroyed by the 2000 class of NASCAR rookies. Because that was the thing that happened as we just saw. And then me and the two car make Hot Wheels. And let's go ahead and get a look at the scene of the crime here. It looks like that yellow car pushed the other car into traffic. So it looks like we have a multi-target assault that we'll have to plan here. Oh, all right. Or I can just get turned by Tim Richmond right off the friggin' start. That works too. Oh, I just did a 360 out of it. That was badass. I'm gonna get my own exhibit in the Hall of Fame for what I just did. Uh oh, hey, I might be, oh, they're losing. How can we not drive around a bull, people? It is a bull. Oh my, 
got cars flipping over me. We got cars running me over here. Oh, me and Rusty are going to the wall, aren't we? Yes, we are. Oh, I'm going upside down. I'm trying to cover this event. I'm getting just destroyed. I'm like a war correspondent more than a race car driver at this point. This is... Oh, that, that was... Well, I'm definitely not a race car driver after what I just did there. And that is a deserved pummeling. And... Oh, 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 oh. Cut. Cut away. Yeah, look at that. How many Hot Wheels are we going to make today? You know, let's just drive back. This already went to hell in a handbasket. Let's just send it. Let's just send it. Oh, here we go. That's the yellow car. Could that be the one from earlier? Let's get him. He's down. And we're spinning like a top. We're doing a Booker T spin a Rooney for the fans. Well, we got to evaluate everything that just happened. There is a lot to unpack here. First, these cars, just everybody here, hold an L because you cannot drive from one corner to a straightaway without dying. That is an L for all of eternity. Then I get to hold an L when I drive Rusty to the wall and flip myself over for no good reason. I then get the double eternal L when I decide to fire it back up and drive it straight into the other wall and just line myself up for a double hit. So anyway, I'll be expecting my contract from Rick Ware Racing any time now. And then, of course, we have our revenge on maybe not even the car that was the one that dealt it to us, but it feels good anyway. Are you kidding me, Tim? Tim, what's wrong with you? Don't answer that. Keep going. Stuart Friesen up in the middle of the road. Okay. All right, we're in 21st. That's a phenomenal start. Somebody's in the fence. We're going to dodge cards like a minefield. Tim Richmond was in the crash. Now, that's just something you hate to see. Minefield again. Making it through the doors here. Up to six. Got David Pearson up here. Ass pack and Joey Logano. And just drove right around him. Just signature look of superiority from the Silver Fox. That was... <laughs> glorious and he oh he made it through again and I sure as hell did and I slammed those guys look at this guy look at Pearson oh he finally took himself out but that was glorious what a run by the man I, oh and that puts us in the lead holy sweet mother of roadblocks oh and the hole closed where it was and opened on the other side damn and Dale and our junior would you like to maybe not be stopped right in front of me that would be what are you even doing what what it's happening with this car that doesn't even make sense and there's people flipping back there Oh, this is going to be a clip. Oh, he missed him and I hit him. Oh, I thought Nadia was going to smoke him and then Nadia was giving me obstacles. Throws Dave Marcus into my path. Jerry, I will not stand for this. We're going to have our way with you before this is over with. There you go. See you later. He's out of the race. And we are going to spin to win across the line to collect the dub with a donut. And then, of course, we've got the replays. And it wasn't a pretty race. We got dumped off the start. Had to come back from behind, ran into just about everybody in the field, had a couple brush ups with a couple of different piles, dodged through that one at the start, and of course didn't have as much luck on the, oh, return around. As we pile into one here, Dell Jr. gets stuck in front of us, and still, we clawed our way back, trying to get that crown, and a couple of guys came for that ass back there. Look at them packing into the boys back there. That's a problem. And a race to the finish here as we Get dealt a few bad hands from Jerry Nadu up ahead of us. And he threw some cars in our way, and we had our revenge. Oh, the irony. I was standing up for Nadu earlier, and then I end up the one taking him out, proving that, once again, I am the true Terminator. And you might think we're done, but we're not, because there, of course, is a Bristol Dirt layout. So let's go try it out. Now, this layout is extremely bumpy. I don't know why it's so bumpy, but it is. It's hilariously bumpy, and it doesn't suit the sprint cars perfectly well as you can see they're already piling it up and flipping Benny Parsons is going into the pit lane oh my god we just laid one in on who else but Morgan Shepard oh the old rivalry continues and we are getting ourselves stuck on the berm here and I think we are beached that might as well be it well I'm pretty sure they call this place Thunder Alley and I think we just found out why because we're gonna get a pretty clear shot down the alley here of some pure uncut raw carnage cars getting bobbed up in the air a couple of them almost made it to pit road the hard way but they all kept their cereal in the ball somewhat. We are pretty much destined to have a little turn one meme bitch here. With those bumps, we're getting run over and over the berm we go. Doing some more donuts. Let me jump back over this thing before we smack Brandon Jones. I was in here packing another one on the side. I think it was Kawiki. We got it. Pack up here. We're going to have to break up. We'll shove Wendell Scott back. Wow. Hold my beer, Wendell. Watch this. Oh, Eric Jones is going to slide it. Oh, and right into Red Byron. And then Wendell just ass packs me. He says, hold this. And I did. And we're, to, we're beached again. It's over. Let's see how much we can do on the high side here. I love it up here. Only good things ever happen up there. We dump Vickers to get to that clean bottom side. Of course, Vickerism is running rampant in this game. It always has. It probably always will. We make a cold sales spot. 
And they still refuse to get to a corner clean. They're gonna wreck it down here too. Yes, they will. There he goes, a kiss to Brendan gone on the way by. Jeremy Mayfield up here. We gotta wreck for the lead. We're gonna race for it. I'm gonna go over the wall almost. We're gonna beach it on top of another place, on top of the pit wall. I'm packing it up. Oh, Benny Parsons, why you gotta come down? You wrecked me on the high side last time. Now you gotta come wreck me on the low side too. That's a bit messed up. Should pick one of the other dudes. So we just got launched up over the pack there. We gotta keep it straight and somehow we do. I don't know how, I don't know how we're alive. I have no remote idea. And Kawiki's gonna try me on the outside. That was a brilliant move. I'm gonna use Blaney as a riot shield here. Oh, we turned him. Shout out to his life-size sprint car tattoo. Oh, Morgan Shepard just walled the hell out of his damn self, but we're gonna give him a nice little one-two combo and wreck myself in the damn process. Come on. Come on, Morgan. Come on. Oh, I think Morgan's been removed from this race by force. It would seem that he has seen better days. I have lined myself up for an ass back. My brain has seen better days. And Stuart Friesen just running into anything that he can see in front of him. Again, exhibiting Terminator-like features. I'm going again to the pits, and this time we do make it over. The slight tipping there set us on a journey, and we are driving out of this thing. Oh, don't you do it, Ward. Oh, a little tip from Ward. That's going to put us back into Blaney. I'm sorry, Blaney. Oh, we're going to make the pass. Oh, I thought we were. We were just about to make the pass for the lead. Ward Bird win for it. He's going to the fence. We're gonna send him to an early autograph session with the fans and he dumps us at stand. We gotta get going. Give me a push, Harrison. Give me a push, come on. Come on, oh, he walled himself. We're gonna smoke him. No, we took ourselves out. We're both dead. Oh, nice, we're both dead. Go home, nobody wins. Oh, Vickers having his revenge. Takes us to the wall, takes us to the pile. Takes us to Denny. Oh, don't pull up now. Why, 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 I don't even see why I care to dodge these wrecks anymore. I'm just gonna run right into everybody. See you, Briscoe and Gallagher and Gone or whoever the hell you were. See you later. We will be seeing you. Betty Parsons, oh, you're just doing great, aren't you? All right, I think I've seen enough. Let's just go ahead and throw this over here for no good reason. See what happens. Oh my God, barrel check, brain check, damn near cameraman check, fire truck check. We need that ambulance for a mental evaluation. All right. Oh, Vickers all the way from the bottom to the top of the track just to take me out. Captured in 1440p. Might as well be 4K. Are you, are you serious? And you think Terminators don't exist? How much more facts and evidence do we need? Oh, we're on a slide. My God, I can't believe we didn't just pile drive Briscoe deeper into that wall. He was, he was shaping up for one. Up to seventh here with a couple of uh, laps to go still. We could have ourselves a run forming up past Sterling up to fifth. See, let's let Marcus lead the way here. Nice job, buddy. Oh, and there's nowhere to go. And I'm in the lead in the pile. You ever just wreck into the lead? Because that's what just happened to us. And I, I can't even get out of here. We're stuck. This is going to have to be a reset. I didn't think we'd ever see the day at this track. Well, I guess we did. There you go. Oh, in the wall. In the wall. Don't be throwing it away now as we come out of turn four. Where am I supposed to go other than taking out Terry Labonte? Where is there to go? I can't even get to my dub. My dub's unreachable. I lost the wheel. I have lost the wheel. I better be able to crawl my ghost carcass to this finish line. Please. Please let me have this. Come on, game. You pimp slap me enough. Just give me that finish sign. There it is. We have captured another dub, two for two on the day. Well, what better way to break in a brand new mod like these 410 sprints than by taking them on a destructive tour of Bristol like we did here today. I think that went great. And I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did because I think this car set is gonna make for some fun installments in the future. And that'll be about where we wrap it up here today. Thanks as always, ladies and gentlemen, for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.